Hey guys, it is Jeanette, aka Sweet Jean, and I'm coming at you with a follow-up video, follow-up vlog. Um, I was hoping to do this at home with full face of makeup and, you know, my hair, my hair done, but um, I'm in the hospital and I was hoping to be home like two days ago but I'm still here and it looks like I'm gonna be here another another day um, but I'll get more into that a little further down the video so I want to go back to where I left off on my last video um, I did see a primary care primary care doctor who diagnosed me with type 2 diabetes um, they did start me on metformin and they prescribed me the um, the little machine that allows you to check your blood sugar at home. So he wanted me to check my blood sugar every morning um, on an empty stomach, you know, fasting from the night before. And my goal number was to be about 100. And so um, since I am a cancer patient and I am on chemotherapy, he thought it better to um, refer me to another specialist, which is an endocrinologist. And an endocrinologist um, specializes in diabetes and they also specialize in the disorders of the thyroid. So I made an appointment um, to see the endocrinologist. They sent me for blood work. And then I went to go see see them for um, results of the blood work and to transfer care to to her, the new uh, doctor, the endocrinologist. So basically, um, she, you know, we consulted with each other. She can I consulted with her. She consulted with me. And according to my blood work, according to my labs. Um, she wants me to increase the metformin to twice a day and she also wanted me to increase the amount of times i check my blood sugar um so every day she wants me to check it in the morning on a fasting stomach i mean fasting with nothing in my stomach and then she also wanted me to check my blood sugars two hours after um eating whether it be breakfast or lunch, because sometimes I skip breakfast and I do lunch. So, um, so we agreed on that. And then she was looking at my paperwork and she said, have you ever been diagnosed with hypothyroidism? And I said, no, that, that was actually the first time that I've ever heard of that. And she says, well, you, that I have, she diagnosed me with happy, having hypothyroidism. So, not only do I have cancer, stage 4, um, I, I was also diagnosed with diabetes going on two months now. And now, I'm being diagnosed with hypothyroidism. So, in order to combat the hypothyroidism, she um, prescribed me a medication um, called, what is it called? Um, Levex, Levothyroxine? Yeah, so it's called Levothyroxine and she wants me to take that one a day. So, <laughs> it's just frustrating because it's one thing that piled on to another thing that piled on to another thing. And each of those things require me to take medication to control it. So the hypothyroidism, I have to take the, uh, the levothyroxine. For the diabetes, I have to take morphine. I mean, not morphine, excuse me, uh, metformin. And the doctor also prescribed me with vitamin D. I'm sorry, I keep dabbing my lip because I have this little cut here. Anyway, so I have wrote some notes down as far as the symptoms for um, the diabetes, the cancer medication, because I'm on three chemos, and 
Um, the cancer, oh, the hypothyroidism, and the diabetes. So those, those symptoms include, but are not limited to, nausea, vomiting, fever, chills, headache, infection, trouble swallowing, I'm sorry, trouble sleeping and, in, and or insomnia, uh, stomach and body aches and pains, diarrhea, skin rash, weakness, fatigue, bloating, uh, sluggishness, irritability, sensitivity to cold, um, irregular uterine bleeding, difficulty walking, um, which can last as long as therapy is continued. And it can get progressively more severe the longer I continue with treatment. Um, and it also causes a low blood count. <laughs> so I have the majority of all of those symptoms. And that's not including the neck pain and the back pain from surgery. Um, the low blood count symptom is what really um, scares me because it brings us to what has been going on with me for the, for the past week and a half, which is why I'm in the hospital. Um, today is... the 16th going on the 17th because it's past midnight so I came in on Friday um, November the 13th to get chemotherapy but I had been experiencing some bleeding in my gums on the upper and the lower um, jaw and it was so much that I had to walk around with the cup and I had to keep spitting up this blood that was coming from my gums um, and it wasn't letting up and I already have low um, low blood count low platelets uh, low magnesium low potassium low white blood cells I mean everything is already low I trend on the low end because of being on chemo for over four four and a half years is just taking a toll on my body and my body's never able to recuperate and it's going to take a while for my body to ever recuperate um, because I've taken breaks like three week breaks four week breaks and they do my labs and my my labs barely move up so it's just typical for me to have all of these things on the low end well I can't afford to be losing blood and I was losing a lot of blood I mean I actually had to sleep with the cup under my mouth with and sleep with my mouth open just so that the blood can drip out of my mouth um, and then I was also having a little bit of nasal um, bleeding but not much um, let me see um, what else Uh, oh, so I thought it might have been something to do like with my teeth, like um, a dental issue, um, cavities, gingivitis, and maybe I just needed a deep cleaning. So I did make it like an emergency um, appointment to see a dentist. Um, and I saw him this past Wednesday. He took x-rays and he said that everything looked fine that the bleeding had nothing to do with like um with my teeth or with my with my jaw it wasn't dental related he said it was probably something systemic so something going on within my body some type of blood disorder and um i was just very upset because I was losing so much blood and I need every ounce. Like I said, I need every drop. I can't be afford I can't afford to lose that much blood and I was starting to get very weak.
even weaker than what I already am, more fatigued than I already am. Um, I was feeling a little bit dizzy. I was feeling a little bit faint. Um, when I was in the shower, I wasn't even completely done and I had to stop because I was just so fatigued that I thought if I don't stop and get out of the shower and sit down, I'm going to drop. I'm gonna I'm gonna collapse I'm gonna fall and I don't want to do that to my to my mom and I don't want to do that to my son where they're gonna find me collapse on the floor naked in the bathroom so um, when I came to get to do my chemo chemo on Friday the 13th of course they ran blood work and um, I think the normal blood count is 12 for any normal person but i t i trend on the low end like i said so i always trend about an eight which is low but they still give me my chemo at an eight because that's just the way my body is with with like i said being on chemo for four and a half years my blood is low and it's always low so they always give me my chemo if it's at an eight if it's a little bit below eight, then they give me a blood transfusion. So when they took my blood work, they I was reading at a five. So my doctor decided not to give me chemo on Friday and they ordered two blood transfusions and they ordered uh, potassium and then they also ordered um, magnesium because those, those are all on the low end. And um, Today is Tuesday morning, 12.25 in the morning. So I feel like it's still Monday because I haven't gone to sleep. But it's technically Tuesday because it's after midnight. And um, day before yesterday, they had to actually give me another unit of blood because my, my blood numbers, my, the numbers were still really, really low. So they gave me a third bag of of blood and then my tooth started bleeding again and um i have a picture of it and if i can i'll try to insert the picture and this is just like very basic bleeding compared to what i had this past weekend so if you get grossed out or, or anything with teeth or like bleeding you know um just click out of the video at the end right before i get you know after i say bye i'm gonna show I'll, I'll put the picture back, you know, at the end of, of this video if I can. Um, I don't have a whole lot of battery and I'm recording on my phone. So anyways, um, I have made some notes and I just want to make sure and look at it that I'm not um, forgetting anything. Um, now I think that's pretty much it. Oh, well, my doctor, my oncologist, she finally decided to diagnose me to be be extremely anemic so this morning and yesterday I couldn't help but but begin to to cry because um, having the cancer and all that all that comes with it with the chemo and the fatigue and the nausea and the muscle aches and not able to live a fully functional life the way I used to. Um, it would, you know, that is already tough on me as it is. And then on top of that, to be diagnosed with diabetes and having to take, you know, the medication and check my blood sugars, which was like another thing on top of that, which was... I was okay with, I was like, okay, I could do it. I could do that. That's fine. And then to be diagnosed with hypothyroidism and then having to take medication for that. And then to be diagnosed with the anemia and the bleeding and not finding out, not knowing why I'm bleeding and um, losing blood and feeling faint and feeling tired and feeling weak. Um, it just... It was just a lot on my shoulders and um, it's just upsetting because it's like one thing after another and um, it's just very frustrating. 
So anyhow, that is that is my um, my follow up, you know, my catch up um, with you guys, and um, I want to thank every every one of you guys who have reached out to me and and was asking how I was doing and that you guys were you know wondering what was going on with me and that you were a little worried. Um, I'm still here. I'm never giving up. I will never, ever give up. Um, I can't leave this world and leave my son. Um, I'd rather live my life and be in chronic pain and have issues with my health. And I'd rather go through that, and live my the rest of my days in, in, some, in some kind of chronic pain than to leave this world and be at peace and have him be in pain for the rest of his life without his mom. So I can't leave him. Um, so anyhow, um, if you're new to the channel and you want to follow my journey, follow my life and how I'm living with terminal breast cancer, um, hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you. Uh, I have a wonderful group of uh, women and men who follow me who are my subscribers that are very sweet and I'm very lucky I'm very lucky for that um, and if you are a longtime subscriber thank you for sticking around and having patience with me um, I don't upload but maybe once maybe twice a month just depending um, like I have I have the will in my mind but it's my body that's stopping me because sometimes I'm just so tired and I'm just so fatigued and I just don't have the energy. And the days that I do have the energy, you know, I want to do things with my son. I want to make memories with my family. Um, and I just want to try and live a normal life um, as best I can, you know, enjoy what I what what quality of life I have, enjoy it when I'm having good days. And I know that there's good days and there's bad days. Um, it's just it's just so so very frustrating, you know, to have one thing after another, after another, after another come at you all within, you know, a few months time. And my body's just adjusting to adjusting to a new normal again. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for for uh, supporting me. And um, that is pretty much it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, it does take me some time to get to to get to them, but I do see each and every one of them, and I appreciate I appreciate all the love and support that you show me. So I will see you guys in the next video with the new update at that point. Okay, thanks. Bye.